Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of TikTok. Now, I know all of you heard about TikTok already, that's a clear known fact, and I used to hate TikTok. And I mean really hate TikTok, like, I was fully anti-TikTok, like, I wanted this site to be burned to the ground, that's how much I hated it. But now, I've sort of refined my view on it. I still don't like TikTok, and I don't have it downloaded, but I know it's done some good things. It's not all just completely terrible. There's a lot of bad things to it, of course, but it's not all bad. It's done some good things. And that is why I am making this video today, to hopefully uh, show some of the good things that TikTok has done. And... Uh, you know, show that it's not just completely a 100% bad thing. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the pros and cons of TikTok. First thing we're going off with is a pro. The first good thing that comes to my mind that TikTok has done would be the amount of memes it's produced. TikTok has had some good memes, for instance. I ain't reading all that. Didn't anyone ever tell you that it's rude to ask a doll's age? Next, Goo Goo Gaga. And there's way more memes than just that I can show from TikTok. TikTok has made countless, hundreds, thousands, maybe millions of memes like this. And it's provided something just so essential and driving to the memescape, whatever you call it. And it's just made so many good memes that have come out of it. And I gotta say, that's pretty cool, you know, that's pretty cool. I know we all might hate TikTok, we can say it's cringe, but we gotta say, there have been some banger memes out of it. So yeah, that's the first pro. Now, with our first con, is the information TikTok steals. You guys might not know this, but TikTok is made by ByteDance, which is a Chinese company and they're not in America. They are from China. And that means your information isn't going to America. It's going to the Chinese government. Now, America does the same thing with Google, but it's America. It's the country you live in. This isn't the country you live in. This is China, and they are getting your information. And if you have a problem with that, that's probably a bad thing. And I'd have to say, that's a con for me, because I don't like other countries having my data. I don't like countries having my data in general, but I don't have a sponsor right now, so I can't make any NordVPN sponsor things right here. So yeah, first con, TikTok steals your data. This next pro might not be a pro to other fellow YouTubers and just YouTubers in general, but TikTok has opened up competition to YouTube. It's opened up a new wave and it's just broken YouTube's uh, invincibility and sort of hedge money over the content sharing landscape. It's, it's made competitors to YouTube a thing and a possibility, and it's effectively broken YouTube's hedge money over the web, and it showed that there can be competitors to YouTube and that YouTube is not invincible. And that's probably a bad thing for me since, uh, you know, it might start driving traction away from YouTube. But I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's actually pretty cool that a uh, website and app can do that. That's pretty amazing. And that's a pretty big feat. So I'm going to have to say that is a epic W for TikTok. The next con that I'm going to say for TikTok is it is incredibly cringy. Like, oh my god. Why are there so many teenagers doing Fortnite dances? And what are all these stupid challenges people are doing and getting killed by? Have you seen some of the challenges that have been hosted on this website? It's it's absolutely so stupid. The devious lick challenge, the filing your teeth challenge, it's so horrible. Oh my god, what's next? The the drinking bleach challenge, Tide Pod challenge part 2. You literally can't even make this stuff up. This is beyond stupid. And so, I'm gonna have to say these dumb challenges are a big con for TikTok because they've actively injured its user base and 
and probably cause damage to the world around it. And that is that is a big no-no. So I'm gonna have to say all that cringy stuff, all those challenges a big is a big con for TikTok. Alright, so this next pro might be a little bit of a hot take, but you all probably know about Vine, which existed back in the day. I most certainly did, and I thought that app was really cool. I used to watch a ton of videos from there back in the day, and looking back on it, it's pretty nostalgic to me. And it's uh, it's not that hard to see that Vine and TikTok both have some similarities. Both of them are for short form content, and I gotta say, there's there's just some sort of feeling from TikTok that's very similar to Vine. Something something previously that Vine evoked that I I see in TikTok, and I'm gonna have to say that. TikTok might be Vine's spiritual successor, and I I really have a lot of fond memories from watching videos on Vine, and they were all pretty fun, so I'm gonna have to say that this is a massive pro for TikTok right here. Being the spiritual successor to Vine is pretty awesome because I had a lot of fond memories with that app. Some other people might not have, might not have even, you, you guys might not have even heard of it or forgot about it, but I remember that app, and Vine was pretty cool, so for that... TikTok gets a epic W for being a spiritual successor to Vine. Another con for TikTok would be the fact that TikTok literally eats your attention span. Like, it is turning, it is giving people the attention spans of goldfish, and that's not good. Because it might wither down your attention span so much that you might not even be able to watch TikTok videos anymore. Like, literally, you'll have to be able to watch two second, half a second videos will be the only thing you can watch. Literally. It is not cool if your attention span is being eaten by an app. And I'm going to have to say that is a fat L for TikTok. So, yeah, I'm going to have to say that is another con for TikTok. And, yeah, that's kind of all the things that I could think of that are good and bad on TikTok. Obviously, if you've thought of anything else that I haven't, let me know in the comments, and I'd be happy to share my thoughts on you with that. And, yeah, it's kind of all I really wanted to say for this video. I just wanted to lay out some things that are good about TikTok and bad about TikTok, because I know it has a very mixed reputation, and I thought I'd throw in some good and bad things. So, yeah, that's kind of all I really wanted to say for this video. I hope you found it, uh, entertaining, and... Maybe I maybe changed your perspective on TikTok, perhaps. But, yeah, I just hope you found this video enjoyable. And let me know any video ideas you want me to make in the comments. And I will be happy to see you in the next video. Alright, bye.